hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we will learn in this video about uh, active directory users or OU delegation so let's start now just I want to uh, explain something about uh, user or OU delegation suppose if you are going to create any user and uh, if you want to assign that user to a, a specific permission like he can create user or reset password or uh, join client machine in a domain or user can delete any uh, user or objects of active directory so for these all things we will delegate active directory users means you can say in a single word to provide a specific or you can say a single line to provide a specific user rights we will uh, delegate Active Directory users. So let's start now. But before go ahead, just I want to request you, please, if you not uh, subscribe yet my channel, please subscribe my channel so that if I'll upload any other new videos, then you can view and watch. So let's start now. So this is my domain name that is test.lan and uh, suppose you have created one OU that is test user OU I have already created it so I am going to create here a new user that is uh, I am going to keep here username like test delegation test D and I will keep the same in user login name also in your case you can uh, keep it as for your requirement one minute so I have created this user that is test D so uh, we can delegate user uh, in a two way either we can uh, delegate the particular user or you can say a specific user or we can delegate group so here I am going to create one group like help desk this is just for example I have created here and uh, I am going to add this test user in the help desk group so that I can show you by delegating with the username or with the name of group so you can just click here right to a group type here help so it is help desk ok successfully added you can see here also help desk user uh, members test D so test D is a member of help desk group now you can see the same from here also 
help desk if any user will be created in uh, active directory then it it will be the default member of domain users so now let's start to delegate next you can see here select user and groups means either you can uh, delegate through the username or the groups so here I am going to delegate the user that is test D you can click on check now or for testing you can also uh, delegate uh, from the user group name so you if you want you can also check by typing help so help desk I have, as I have created help desk as a user group so I'm going to remove but just will check by username but if you have a uh, three or four users or many users then it will be better to delegate from the name of groups and uh, click next you can see here there are two options delegate the following common tasks or create custom task to delegate so if you if you will go with this option create custom task then you have to create by selecting this like connection objects DNS zone scope and here is the many more options so as per requirement you can uh, delegate from here custom task to delegate or you can delegate from the delegate following common task option so there are uh, many more options here like create delete and manage user accounts reset user password and force password to change at next logon read all user information modify the membership of group join computer to the domain manage group policy links so for testing uh, for now I am going to uh, select this one like reset user password and force password change at next logon and uh, rest will leave, at, leave it as default click next so as we are uh, selecting here only reset user and password and first password change at next logon so will we have to check this also if user is able to reset and first password change next at next logon option or not and we'll also check if user is able to create and delete users or manage or join computers or not so just click on next click finish now what we'll do one more thing I want to explain here uh, if you will delegate the user and if and uh, if that user will try to log in on uh, domain controller then you have to uh, add that user that delegated user or any user that is uh, trying to log in on uh, domain controller and uh, if it is required or it is uh, your uh, company policy so you have to uh, add that user in user and assignment group policy and uh, allow for logon locally 
so first we'll check without adding that user in group policy and we'll check what error we are getting here so we'll select other user we have created user test space d password and you can see the sign in method you are trying to use is not allowed for more info contact your network administrator yes so what we'll do we'll log in here it's on domain and uh, open group policy management so as user is trying to uh, log in on domain means DC domain controller and as we have also delegated the user for domain purpose means for user reset or uh, any other options so we have to uh, modify the default domain control policy because def default domain controller policy is linked with default domain controllers so we'll edit go to policies windows setting security setting and local policies user write assignment allow logon locally so add user or group you can browse so here you can uh, add the particular user or group we can also uh, add here group that is help desk group and uh, test d is a member of help desk group member click ok you can see a test help desk test d user added here apply ok close just check default domain control policy should be linked here default domain controller policy is not linked so link an existing domain controller and click ok yes now it's ok now close it run open cmd gp update space less force computer policy update has completed successfully and user policy also completed successfully now we'll sign out go to other user option test d yes so now you can see user is successfully logged in now and as we have delegated this user so now we'll check yes you can see it is prompting here for username and password because this user has limited access as this is delicated user so the username is test D yes this is just for confirmation yes so server manager console open now 
now we'll go to active directory users and computers and we'll check by resetting user id password and force to change password at next login so you can see here one more thing you can see there is no any new option means this user has not access to create new user OU or any group because we have delegated this user for only user ID password reset and change password at next login so let's see by resetting user ID so I have created here few users like T3 T2 and test D so as we have delegated this and test D user and logged in with this also so now we'll check by resetting T2 user password reset you can see here the option is user must change password at next login so we'll select and check if it is ok or not yes so you can see the password for t2 has been changed yes so that means our delegation for user reset and uh, force to change password at next login is working fine so guys in this way you can uh, delegate the users we can also test by deleting this user we'll try to delete and check if if, if this test space d user is able to delete or you can say this delegated user able to delete t2 users or not you can see you do not have sufficient privilege to delete t2 or this object